welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title I'm going to show you how to make some homemade tomato basil pasta sauce you can use this for pizza as well um, if you are still buying this please stop <laughs> I'm going to show you an easier way how to do it and it will last longer and it will be healthier for you right here I'm just showing you everything that you need and I'm going to walk you through this step by step so keep watching do not be alarmed again I'm going to go through everything as we go through the video the very first thing that you do want to do is to prep. Um, if you plan on doing this, I would prep the day before. Um, but if you don't have time for that or if you're just doing this out of like, you know, spontaneous, then I would just go ahead and do everything at one time. So right here you see me dicing up one green bell pepper. Um, they do not have to be perfect because we're going to blend them up, but we are going to saute them down. So the next thing you're going to want to take is a onion. There's two types of onions uh, I suggest you use. One is this one right here, which is a Vidaya onion. You can pretty much find these in any kind of farmer's market or any kind of Italian market. If you cannot find a Vidaya onion, you can use a Spanish onion. Whatever you do, do not use a sweet onion. The sweet onion will alter the taste and we do not want to do that. Keep in mind that this is a tomato basil pasta sauce. So you just want to dice these just like I'm doing now. Again, um, they do not have to be perfect. They will be in the blender as well. One thing that you do want to do is make sure that you do cut the core out. Um, it's pretty easy to find. Sometimes it falls out and you can just go ahead and throw that away. So after you get the peppers and the onions chopped up nicely, what you're going to do is get yourself a saute pan. Please use a saute pan. And then you're going to take about one to two tablespoons of this white truffle oil. Um, this oil is very powerful and it is very flavorful. You do not need a lot. For the amount that I'm making, um, I needed this amount and I'll explain that later in the video. And you just want to make sure that the pan is hot. Please make sure the pan is hot. I know that sounds crazy, but a lot of people, they cook stuff when it's cold. No, we want the pan hot. So the first thing that we are going to start sauteing is some cherry bomb tomatoes. This is a specific tomato that I like to use. So if you do this recipe, I do suggest you go and get those tomatoes. I do have tomatoes that are on the vine as well. And I believe that you can find these at the Italian market or um, a farmer's market. I'm not sure if um, Sam's Club has it or one of your uh, known grocery stores. But you just want to saute that for about five minutes just until they blister. Um, you can kind of see the blisters opening. And then you want to take the tomatoes on the vine. I took two on here and I'm just going to saute those all around. And as I saute the ones on the vine, I added the green peppers. Right here, it took them about three minutes to sweat. And then after that stage, you go into actually cooking them to let them caramelize. After I saw that the tomatoes on the vine did caramelize, I went ahead and added the Vidaya onion to the other half of the skillet. I'm going to allow these to sweat and then I'm going to start to season them. I cook the peppers and onions together for about five minutes as you can see it's a nice char on here. Then after that I added two tablespoons of garlic. You can either press your garlic or you can use minced garlic. If you have a presser then that's even better. For another two minutes I just let that cook and let the garlic infuse the oil. And then I went ahead and added some sun-dried tomatoes. If you cannot find this, then don't worry about it. But I like to add the sun-dried tomatoes just to give it a little extra flavor. And then what I'm going to do is cook that for another two minutes. And then after that, I turned the pot off and I added fresh basil. So I added one cup of fresh basil and this is just to wilt it down. You do not want to cook this because the sauce is a tomato basil sauce. So you just see me right here folding it in until... The basil just gets wilted down. After the basil got wilted down, I just went ahead and added everything into a bowl. At this point, what we're going to do is add this to a blender. If your blender does not have a latch to where it opens and it lets the steam out, um, you can just put it right in after like five minutes. If it, um, if it doesn't, you want it to completely cool for about 20 minutes. Um, because if you, if you put that in here, it's going to blow. And, um, pasta sauce, especially red pasta sauce, stains. So, just, just let it cool for a minute. Then go ahead and add it here. Do not be alarmed. I know y'all see the steam, but I did not, I did not do what I just told y'all not to do. Trust me. 
So after I got everything into the blender, at this point is where you're actually going to season it. If you notice, I did not add extra salt and the only thing that I added was garlic. So I like to season mine when it is in the blender for everything to blend up because the warmth from the peppers, onions, and everything in there is going to warm it up. So what I did was add about a third cup of this tomato um, bouillon and then the seasoning in the beginning was black pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and Spanish smoked paprika. So right here you see me blending everything up. Um, for your blender you want to start low and then you want to go up to high when you're making any kind of sauces. You want to do that to make sure that the sauce is smooth. Um, after you get it blended for about five minutes, if your blender has a timer, it'll do it itself. You know, you can just set it. Um, but you do want to go from low to medium to high. Um, right after you finish the high setting, what you're going to do is take two cups of chicken broth and you're going to slowly add it to the blender. If your blender does not have a latch, um, then you can just add it and then turn it off, add it, and then turn it back on. But the color should change to this nice color right here. The first deep red color was because it was just with the peppers and the onions and the tomatoes. So after you get it blended up, you're going to blend it on high for about another two to three minutes. And then after that, you're just going to pour them into a mason jar of your choice or whatever container that you want to store it in. Your sauce should be nice and smooth. For the amount that I made, I filled up four 8-ounce mason jars, which made it 32 ounces in total. And if you want to do it a different way, that's one gallon. Once this is sealed, you can keep this in your refrigerator up to two weeks. If you break that seal, these will last up to five days. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video.